Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today episode is sponsored and it's because I have gotten donations from these people. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna mention what they donated but their names was in the specific order. All of them thought that my server videos was the ones that they liked the most. So we're gonna be doing a server video and I went out and bought some processors. I bought four small processors They're right here on my keyboard and I'm gonna be mounting them in some blade servers. Here I have an, I have an older blade server and it's an HS21 and it's an 8853L. L is important, 3G. And the L means that this blade can only do dual cores and they can do this special brand of quad cores, the 5300 series. Although the blade server will complain about that and tell me that uh, this processor is not meant for this blade. But we're gonna be doing a little bit of testing on that. I have here, I have two of these. Let's go down and see that. I have two of those and it's these two. They're both dual cores, 3 gigahertz, like the one we just saw. I have one, so this one that has already got two of these inside them. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be upgrading these two. And I have this one, it's a newer model. You can just see that up here on the screen. That one, that's an E5420 and it's a two and a half gigahertz processor. So we have three different machines down here and we're gonna test those and see how much performance improvement I get by changing out these processors. I've moved in here to the computer and I'm just gonna be trying to give you an overview of what I'm testing here. Right here I have the first server and that's the E, 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 e where is it? There are E5420 and that's a, a two quad cores and a 2.5 gigahertz. And on, on that blade server I have two virtual machines and each of them has four vCPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM. Then I have the next server and that has four cores as well but these are 2 gigahertz and these are the E5335 2 gigahertz and that has two virtual machines on it as well same configuration just checking that then we have the two servers down here that are the ones that I want to upgrade and these has only four cores now it does say four CPUs but down here there is four logical cores and that's the Xeon 5160 and that's a 3 gigahertz processor. It's actually fairly quick, but every server, 3D Studio Max rendering server, I give them four cores. So each of these servers only have one virtual machine. Where one of these servers will complete two frames, these will be quicker, but they will only complete one frame in that time. But that is what we're gonna be testing, and we're gonna be testing it on 3D Studio Max, and I have that right here. And I'm usually using this Hummer car here, and how this works is that I'm actually making 24 frames. So I'm gonna go for zero to 23 frames. That's the right amount. So each of these six uh, virtual servers, one, two, three, four, five, six, should get four frames each, right? It's probably not gonna work out that way, but we're gonna have a look at that when it has completed. I'm not gonna be showing you all this, but let's just start it together. I've configured this, and what it's gonna do is just gonna be rendering this nice Hummer, and just see that, the same image 24 times. And this works like this, virtual machine here is gonna be giving out one frame to to one server and the next frame to the next server and so on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be submitting that for network rendering, rich, and we're gonna call it something brilliant, right? We're gonna call it Hummer 6, because we have six virtual machines. We're gonna be connecting to this 3 ds man. That's the machine that do the actual dividing of the job and we have the six virtual work horses down here and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna connect to it 
and it's gonna pop up and in a bad order and we can see the six servers that are online and it's number seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that's good and we're gonna select all servers that is probably already yeah all servers is collected so we're just gonna hit submit merge and it's through the job over here and now i can if this was a real project i can continue my work on this we're not going to be needing that for a bit so we'll move that out of the way and we'll have a look at this job here and the task job we can see that it has frame number zero went to this server one to this two to this three to this four to that, and so on and they have a submission time so we can see what how long they were on processing that and that depends on how fast the processor is and how fast the machine is uh, so let's go to vmware there and pick up one of these machines let's just take number eight just to take something random and we can see that number eight has already started to to render this hummer so we're gonna let that run and i'll get back to you when it's done rendering on all of these Render has now completed. This render server is not doing anything, so we'll shut that down for now. Or minimize it. And here are all the times, and I'm gonna make this short. I've already calculated out. The rendering of these 24 frames took uh, 49 minutes and one second. The one blade server with the E5420, eight cores, a total of eight cores, uh, 2.5 gigahertz, that did eight frames and they were with an average of 11 minutes and 59 seconds. The E5335 also had eight cores, but two gigahertz. It only did six frames and with an average of 20, oh, 15 minutes, 51 seconds. The two servers, two blade servers with the 5160s, a total of eight cores, three gigahertz. They did 10 frames and they had an average of 9 minutes and 57 seconds. So they actually did pretty well compared. Uh, they only, this is servers doing this, and so they only did one frame less than this dude. And that's the one that we are going to be upgrading to. So it's actually not that much of an upgrade, but let's see what happens when we put it in. We do get the double amount of cores. It might be beneficial in other ways. So let's go upgrade this. I'll just shut down those two servers that we are gonna be messing with. So we're gonna down the... Yes, now two, now yes, yes. So now the virtual machines has shut down. So we are gonna, we're gonna shut down the host. Yes, yes. And I'll go to the server room and upgrade them. The servers have shut off, they're both blinking, so we can take them out now. Start with the first one. Open up. And it's a normal server. We have 16 gigabytes of RAM, we have one hot drive, we have a room for another hot drive over here. And we have two processors and we have a screwdriver, so let's detach the heat sinks here. Oh. Now we have to take the front out a little bit. Two processors. And here are the two 5335s quad cores. So we are putting those in. And I'm gonna be putting on this heat sink compound. And I know that everybody has their have their own way and how to do this, and I have mine. And it doesn't really matter that much. Just put some on there. Yeah. 
There we are. I'm gonna do the other one, that one, and I'm not gonna bother you with that. Now the two servers are ready to be powered on. We're gonna be doing that. Power on here. Power on. And they're both booting ESXi 6.0 again. See the other one also booting. So in just a little bit, they'll be ready at the computer. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't fast enough to see if, if both processors registered it or if there was any error. But well, actually, we'll see that in just a little bit here. There we are. It sees two of them. Cool. Let's see the other one. And that sees two as well. So let's go try this out in the living room. Okay, at the computer, they are still not responding here, so they're probably still booting. I'm not sure if they start the virtual machine themselves, but let's just prepare the next job. Rich, guess we have that here. We're just gonna be doing a render again, same 25 frames, send to render, and we're just gonna give it a new name. Last time it was, oh, we had six servers, so now we're gonna have eight servers, so we're gonna call it eight. And that reminds me, I have to rearrange some virtual machines because I still want every virtual render server to have four cores and now we suddenly have eight cores more available. Let's connect here, let's see what it finds, servers. We just have the four right now so we are going to be having four more. Okay, I've been moving some machines around. I found number 13 and number 14 that I really would have liked to use but right over here there on the local storage of this server i did go out and turn on this server because i wanted to move them but well it's it will take a while to move a server like that so i gave up on that idea i have to turn off the server when it comes on instead first i took number 12 that was down here at number 237 and i put number 15 and number 16 on 237 instead and they have the same configuration they have 4b cpus uh, just like all the others 4b cpus 8 gigs of ram oh this one only has 6 gigs of ram so good thing we found that we're just gonna increase that right, right. okay so now it has 8 gigs and 15 has 8 gigs so let's turn on these 12 15 and number 16 and they will be ready in just a little bit there and the numbers we'll just get those out of the way for a second and we can see in here when they turn up as soon as the rendering servers are active they will pop up in here and say here I am okay here they are Number 11 and number 12 is on one of the new servers and number 15 and number 16 is on the second of the two new. Well, they're not new servers, they're just upgraded. Or at least that's what I'm hoping that they are. So let's go back to... not that one. That one. We'll disconnect and connect and hopefully we have some new servers available. We have number have six here. We have two there, so we should be good to go. Submit job. Okay, we need to give it a new name. To, oh, we can override it, it doesn't matter. Override. Submitting new job, and that's on its way. Try and see what one of the new machines are doing. There we are, it's launching 3D Studio Max, and I'm playing with an old version, it's number 2013. It's starting up down here, and just a second it will pop up. It takes a bit extra the first time it has to do a frame. The following frames are usually a bit faster. We can actually see that at the job we did last. Over here, if we go up to the top, let's just see frame number zero was done by number seven. It took 12 minutes and 13 seconds. 
And if we go down and find number 7, it did that um, almost a minute faster, or 52 seconds at least, faster the second time. It didn't have to load as much. So, well, we're gonna be running this, and it's probably gonna take another 40 minutes or so. Hopefully it won't take more than 49 minutes and one second, otherwise this upgrade is... Um, Oh, it's not much of an upgrade, is it? Well, I might just use a second to explain how this works. As you can see, this uh, Hummer is a big picture. And each of the processors gets a little square to calculate. You can see it's just done a square here. And if we wait a little bit, they will... Yeah, it completed a square besides that. And this Render server has four processors ap um, assigned to it, so it's calculating four squares at the same time. Right now, it's doing the hard bits where the real where the car is. When it's doing the floor, it goes really fast, and when it's doing the uh, you can't really call it the sky, but the blue thing up here, it's um, also going very fast. But all the details down at the vehicle, and I think they have done some sophisticated reflections and stuff that it has to calculate, and that takes a while. And we might be able to see over here when it does this part of the floor. This will disappear really fast, probably. There, I took one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. And this one has a little bit of car, so that will take a little bit longer. And two processes are still working over here. So now they're working on the next line here. So it has completed. Last image is in. Close that. And I just calculated the time that, if we go here, it gives me the start time and there is the completion time here <laughs> I calculated that that's 48 minutes and 36 seconds so it's a time saving of what is that 25 seconds but it's not the entire picture there is really not much difference on this and not especially not if we're doing like three frames a server but if I was to be doing like a hundred frames I'm pretty sure that these numbers would be completely different because when I had this server or this processor it took nine minutes and uh, just about ten, 10 minutes for one frame and now I can do two frames in 15 or 16 minutes so this is like eight minutes per frame and this was like 10 minutes per frame. So I'm actually saving two minutes per frame by upgrading to this. But I must admit my little test here was not big enough to really show that. I only saved 25 seconds. Well, I did save some. Well, yeah, 25 seconds isn't a lot on a server like this. But if I was to do 100 frames, I'm sure those two minutes per frame would really show. When I'm just doing a few frames, I actually have to wait a long time for the last server to complete its task but um, well I have to do a bigger test although it already shows that I do save some time and now I have I have four processors here that um, yeah have to clean off and these are the 5160s the three gigahertz processors yep the 5160s and are that in focus this camera has face recognition it's a problem <laughs> But I upgraded with four new quad cores. So I actually got, how much did I get? I get, I got eight more cores to work with in the same servers. And I saved like two minutes on that server that is rendering the job. Little performance, this is just, I'm just testing here. This is not production. I'm just having fun with this. So thank you guys for donating so that I could have a little fun. And thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.